So this is my quick review of the Vanguard Uprise 43. It is a sling style shoulder bag um, and it's really nicely made. So I'm just going to quickly take you through the features, give you a little tour of this bag, give a quick demo of what it looks like when you're wearing it and how you access it, um, and then give you my final opinions. So let's start with the unexciting part first, and that's kind of your top accessory pouch. Got this zipper up top, opens up, and we have this nice bright orange interior. This is something that a lot of the bad bag manufacturers are doing now. Kata has bright yellow interiors. No longer are you fumbling around in the black hole that is your camera bag. You've got this bright interior and you're not losing little bits in there. The only thing of note in here, other than the bright orange interior, is this little mesh pocket. So you got room for accessories. You could throw a lens or two in there as well, maybe a lens that um, you had a lens case too. On the back side, we have this zipper that runs the length of it, and this is a kind of thin pocket. You could throw some a filter wallet in there, a memory card wallet. goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, so there is a good amount of room in there. Manuals, if you like to bring manuals along with you out onto the field. Luggage tag, handle at the top. Little zipper pocket here, big neoprene pocket here, maybe scram one of those nice clean canteens in there. Um, and now we get to the more exciting part. And this is the quick access um, feature of this bag. And with a zip, a click, and a Velcro, whatever sound Velcro makes, crunch, um, you have access to kind of a holster area for your camera. So I have a 7D here with kind of a chunky lens. It fits right in there quite nicely. Zip it closed, clip it closed, and there is your 7D in there. Very secure, very well padded. Even this little bit that is the door or the access point to the section is nicely padded as well right there. Now, there is room for more, of course, than just the accessory pocket in your camera. Through the back channel here is a zipper that runs up and around the whole bit. It is tucked into this little rubber pocket right here, which is a really nice feature. No zipper um, banging around, clinking, um, making noise as you're walking. But you pull that zipper up and it opens up. And that's as far as it opens, which you can't see at all. Let me turn it sideways. So this is another brilliant idea because if you open this up and things tumble out, they're going to catch right in here and land, and you're not going to land, um, be crying over stuff landing on hard cement. So you have room in here for a flash, another lens or two, nothing gigantic. You're not going to be carrying around the 70 to 200 in here, um, or if you are, it's going to be one of the few things that you're carrying around. There, these little orange dividers, as most bags are these days, are um, removable or movable, and so you could use those to um, rearrange this as you need it. And if you felt like this flash is going to fit in there fine, I can zip it back up. But if you needed a little bit more space on the bottom of this bag, this is opposite the accessory pouch, is this kind of accordion action going on right there where you get just a little bit more space in the back now and I don't know if we're really going to be able to see a difference but you can put this over here on this side now and you've got a little bit more room. So this bag really kind of fits between the backpack style of bags which I, I label as, as very comfortable um, and easy to carry lots of gear but really awkward to um, be shooting on the go, and a messenger style bag, which I personally find is the easy style of bag to be shooting on the go, but not necessarily the most comfortable for carrying a lot of gear a long distance because you're really relying on one shoulder. And I'll, I'll cut to a um, quick video of me wearing this and showing you how to quickly access it. All right, so here is one wearing the Uprise 43. Currently I have the little reinforcement strap running across the side here. That can be undone and, and tucked away. So when you're out and about on town, you're wearing this, you're walking down the street, and you want to do some shooting, just kind of reach behind you, rotate it around to your front, zip, latch, Velcro, camera out, take your shots, camera back in, close it back up, Velcro, snap, zip. 
back on around, and if you wanted to put the strap back on you, you could. And as I said, I wasn't crazy about the way it felt right in this area. Um, a little bit of more pull than I think it should for the, for the weight back there, but you are um, you're sacrificing some of that double shoulder strap convenience of a backpack for the excellent convenience of being able to walk around like that. And as I said, just really nicely made bag too. overall. Kind of a bulletproof bottom here. There's an integrated rain pouch on this nicely padded back. Um, the bag feels fairly weatherproof as it is, but obviously if you're going to be in some serious rain, you'd want to throw this on over the whole thing. And it's got little strippy straps to make sure that it stays on and uh, doesn't come off. And for me personally, I didn't find this bag super comfortable, especially once I loaded it up with just a couple lenses, a uh, camera, and a flash. Uh, I felt a lot of pull right here on this strap. And you can pull out this extra little strappy bit here um, and clip it in, which will kind of balance out the load a little bit. But that didn't do much for me. Some people love sling style bags. Um, it's definitely nice on the go shooting. If you're not carrying a lot, um, this would be the bag I'd recommend if you're one of those people that like sling style bags. You can find me on Facebook at digital.photo.recommendations or on Twitter at camera rec. Check below this video for details on how you can win this very bag on Cyber Monday. Stay tuned.